We're about to let a Killian's bottle have it. Here goes. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, I have the 44 inch lens out and I'm currently heating a piece of galvanized elbow that has been filled with zinc and I'm letting it go for five minutes Then I'm gonna dip it in water and show you how much heat that thing absorbs. Have a nice clear day. The evil clouds are over there. So we should be able to get a good one out of that. This is the one that I use all the time. It's not that great of a lens, but this 44 inch lens is amazing. It is crystal clear and just look at it working on that. Okay, I had to add a piece of concrete because the wood was burning. Okay, this has been going for exactly four minutes and 25, 26, 27, almost four and a half minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it in a pan of water. Here goes. Okay, now this is a stainless steel bowl that we have right here and uh, I forgot it and I'm afraid I've ruined it so it's been bottom up we're gonna see what happened This is, this is the inside. You can see that all the material that was on the inside, which was zinc, was absolutely burned and it actually welded a hole right through the bottom of my stainless steel pot. So this is silver stainless steel and uh, I'm going to show you what it just did to it. This was only This is only there for like maybe a minute from the time that I took the uh, screw inside to try to see if we could get something out of it so it burned a hole right through stainless steel what we're gonna do is we're gonna since we ruined this we may as well put another hole in it this has been going for approximately 35 seconds and it is absolutely devastating it even with the wind, I mean, we probably have like a 10 mile an hour gust right now. And it is absolutely vaporizing this pan. This is stainless steel. I mean, it's probably not the highest quality stainless steel and it is thin walled. But you couldn't do that with... Pull it off. Listen to this. Back to regular 
temperature. And there you go. It actually burned, the, there was zinc attached to the wall. I use this as a melting pot. And uh, it's actually burned all the zinc. Not melted it, it burned it. That's what all that smoke was. And it welded a hole right through it. And there's probably a second hole. I'm going to tap it and see. No, no second hole, but the, uh, the first one's clearly there. Our focal point changed a little bit, so it wasn't optimal, but you can see it's totally changed all the chemistry of the stainless steel from being dipped in water. Wow. Not so much for that.